Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. I know what you're thinking. What on earth has he done now? Well, let me tell you a little story. Normally, I do not uh, show you things being made without having made them first. And I normally start by showing you the finished item and saying, well, this is how I did it. I, I'm breaking that rule slightly this time uh, because I'm about to assemble um, a small CNC machine made by a company from the United States called Inventables. And the machine is their X-Carve. And all the bits and pieces are laid out here. They've only arrived in the last day or two. Uh, and I felt I just wanted to tell you about it now uh, so that you'll realize why I'm uh, going sort of silent for a little while as I'm busily uh, making uh, videos about the construction. Now, just over four months ago, one of my subscribers sent me a, a message saying, was I aware of this company called Inventables? And at the time I, I wasn't and it didn't really register particularly. Um, and then I was at my woodyard and I got chatting to uh, a friend of mine, one of the machinists there, and he said that he had built himself a, a CNC machine uh, from bits and pieces he'd got from all over the place, mainly from eBay, I think. Um, and he said it was a great struggle, but he was very pleased with it. Uh, and then I remembered uh, Inventables. And so one thing led to another, uh, and they actually contacted me and invited me uh, to take uh, one of their machines uh, and to build it uh, and to tell you what I think about it. Now, you know my golden rule that I only make videos about kit that I'm prepared to recommend to my very best friend, and that will always be the case. Uh, and in a sense, I'm taking a little bit of a risk this time by releasing this preview now. But I've done a lot of research and I've actually put inventables through the hoop a little bit. Uh, and if any of you know any of the staff there, uh, they will confirm that. Uh, and I've asked a lot of very penetrating questions. Uh, I've been quite uh, difficult with them. And at one stage I thought, well, <laughs> they'll be glad to get rid of me. <laughs> that may still be the case, by the way. Uh, but anyway, I'm satisfied that uh, by making this preview video uh, that I, I'm not really going to compromise myself in any way whatsoever. Now there are one or two videos already on the internet showing the X-carve during construction and I think one or two showing it in operation. Now as far as I can see one or two of those videos um, are using uh, pre-production models of the machine. Uh, this is one of the very first production models that I've got, so I know this is uh, the machine that would be delivered to you were you to buy one. Now, um, what I'm going to do is to uh, take uh, my videos through the process of construction, uh, followed by commissioning, uh, and commissioning really is where we uh, discover any little whoopsies that I may have done during construction, uh, and, and also doing any adjustments that uh, Inventables wish us to do to get it running just as it should be. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to demonstrate it. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with uh, at least two different types of software. Uh, one, the free software, which Inventables uh, uh, provide, and also um, a, a rather smart uh, bit of CNC software. Um, so more of that uh, a lot later. Now, I did a lot of research before embarking on uh, this little project, um, and uh, part of it was looking very closely at the information that Inventables provide uh, for uh, the constructor um, on their website. And I must say that uh, I've been really pleasantly surprised. I've gone through almost every single one of the videos they provide and uh, read through uh, the written instructions that's on their website as well. Uh, and I really think that uh, anyone getting a kit like this should be well supported uh, by what is already on the website. Now, on top of that, uh, there is an Inventables forum, which I've discovered. Um, well, it's there for everyone to discover. You know, I'm not the first. Um, and uh, it's a, it's a well-used forum. And what, uh, again, impressed me there was that uh, when someone ran into a difficulty, they were trying to use one of their machines, uh, uh, one of the earlier machines which predate the X-Carve, um, they would say, look, I've done this, that, and the other, uh, but it doesn't do what I expect it to do. 
and within a, a couple of posts on that uh, forum, uh, in pops the managing director of Inventables and says, well, uh, just state your problem clearly and I'll set it up on one of our machines. And lo and behold, they then produce a little video uh, which then solves the problem. And so um, I think that's pretty good, really. Now, Inventables are not new to this game, so they've had a lot of experience already, which is a really good thing. Uh, this just happens to be their latest machine. So they've had a lot of experience of supplying machines in kit form. Uh, they know all the little pitfalls that uh, people fall into. Uh, and that's why uh, the x car has been produced, because there are far less components for the user to assemble, and some of the components have been redesigned, uh, meaning that you know, they don't quite need uh, so much tweaking uh, by the user as he or she installs them. And the other advantage about uh, a self-assembly concept is that uh, when you've put everything together, you're going to know a lot about your machine. And so if you have any little uh, problems with it, uh, you need to do some maintenance on it, um, you're not happy with a particular part of uh, its function, uh, you can look at it with some knowledge and you may well be able to solve whatever the problem is uh, yourself. Uh, and you'll certainly have uh, the courage uh, to go in there and uh, give things a little tweak uh, should that be necessary. And, and the other aspect of having built the machine yourself that means that it, should you want to upgrade it and uh, maybe you, you started with the small machine, you want to get, make it into the larger machine. Well, so many of the components uh, are common uh, and, and there's only a, a relatively few number of items you need to buy uh, to do a, a major upgrade like that. Uh, you might want to uh, upgrade your stepper motors or whatever else it might be. Well, you can do that yourself. And because of the Inventables modular approach, uh, it's going to be relatively inexpensive to upgrade. And the other good thing about having all these instructions on their website how to assemble it is that even before you make your commitment to buy one of these machines uh, you can go through, you can look at the step-by-step -step guide, uh, you can satisfy yourself that uh, what you see there is what you expect uh, and then make your decision based on that. For those people watching uh, within Europe uh, there is a partner to Inventables, it's a company called Robo Savvy, uh, and they uh, will, or should be, by the time you see this, be stocking uh, the X-Carve uh, machines. Uh, they'll be stocking two versions, uh, the large one, uh, which they call fully loaded, uh, which is what's been sent to me. Uh, and there is a smaller version, um, slightly less expensive, uh, with a smaller board and uh, more suitable to um, smaller applications, of course. Now, now, because the Inventables instructions are so good, I'm not going to take you through the same step-by-step -step process in my videos. What I intend to do is I will follow uh, the Inventables instructions. Uh, and I'll just show you a summary, uh, a very uh, short summary of my progress as I go along. If there's any particular point where uh, I find that uh, either I'm having difficulty or I think that uh, a little bit more explanation would be useful, I'll try and give that information, that extra information. Uh, and so hopefully uh, by the time that uh, you get your machine, uh, you can watch the Inventables video, perhaps watch mine as well, and you should have all bases covered. And the other thing I intend to do is at uh, the conclusion of each stage that I do, I'll tell you how long uh, it took me. I'll do my very best to be as accurate as I can, and I'll make an allowance, in other words, take away the extra time uh, that I've uh, used because I'm videoing. So I'll try and uh, give you a realistic estimate of the time that might take you uh, to do assembly work. Now, look. Uh, behind me, you can see I've laid out uh, the various pieces I need for a particular stage uh, of assembly. Now, everything comes in uh, little uh, packets, uh, not unlike uh, this one, uh, and it's labelled on there, there's a, a product code number on there, uh, and all of these uh, are referenced in the, uh, the videos and the written instructions that uh, you'll find on the website. Uh, nylon insert lock nuts, M5. Uh, and the part number is uh, 302265-04, yep, and I need eight of those. Uh, I would advise you to keep uh, anything you've not uh, used yet in its original packet. 
That way uh, you can go along and find a, a M5 by 35 button head screw uh, very easily because its name is there and it's got its um, uh, part number. So you well, now you know what's going to be keeping me busy for the next few weeks. Uh, now, please bear with me as I go through this. Um, I'm going to do my best to get videos out as soon as I can, but I really want to make sure I get this right. Now, I'm new to woodworking CNC work, uh, but uh, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, I've got several people who are prepared to give me uh, help and advice, uh, friends locally, and I can always go to the technical people at Inventables if I'm really stuck. Uh, but uh, I, I think this is going to be exciting, uh, and I hope in the meantime you might consider taking a look at uh, perhaps the Inventables website and getting a feel for it yourself as well. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.